Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Mirabelle Fallowfield Pastoral Charge on this Easter Sunday. If you're looking for a pastoral charge that promotes God's radical love and inclusion, you've come to the right place. Our doors and our worship are open to everyone. So whoever you are and wherever you are on your journey of faith, we hope you will hear God speaking to you today. We are happy to announce that our pastoral charge is now open for Sunday worship. This week we are worshiping at Maryville United. Next week we will once again be at Maryville United and then we'll be at Fallowfield for the following two weeks. If you find this a wee bit confusing, you can find these dates and times on our website. At this time, we would like to thank everyone who make it possible for us to continue to offer our online services. And a special thanks to everyone for helping with the Holy Week services. There are so many people at work behind the scenes and we are grateful to them. As a caring partial charge, we will do our best to help the many organizations in our city. The Elizabeth Fry Society, Center 507, and Ottawa Vision are just a few that need your generosity during these difficult times. You can find a list of these community services and more on our website. If you would like to donate to the church, you can do so online by e-transfer to muchurch at belnet.ca, or you can send a check to either Maryville or Fallowfield Church. You can find each address on our website, www.maryvillefallowfield.org. Lastly, if you would like to meet with Rev. Sandra in person, please drop her a line at sandra48 at belnet.ca or call the church and leave a message at 613-225-0248. These are all the announcements for this time, and so once again, welcome, and we hope you enjoy this time of worship. Joy comes with the joy. With the morning sun, joy springs from the dew and scatters the night with her song. Joy comes with the dawn. Weeping may come, weeping may come in the night when dark shines. Mystical and life-affirming God, you've come into our lives in the mystery of the resurrected Christ. Today, we stand in awe of who and what you are. As we light the Christ candle on this Easter Sunday, reveal to us the truth of your vision for our world. Open our hearts today to receive the risen Christ. Hallelujah.
please join me for our opening prayer. Oh God, it was early dawn when the grieving women went to the tomb with their spices to anoint the body of Jesus. And upon finding his body gone, they immediately are opened to a new way of being in the world. The words of the angels encouraged them to look for Jesus among the living. And we know that every new sunrise offers us the opportunity to look for Jesus among the living. The angels and the women encourage us to experience you, O oh God, in the world, regardless of our fears and our frustrations. And so we gather on the first day of this week, celebrating the events of the first Easter, the resurrection of our Lord. In this moment of mystery, in this moment of hope, in this moment of sacredness, loving God, open our hearts to your wonder of creation. Open our minds to new ways of being, the human family in your world. And show us that the risen Jesus creates a new and exciting path for us to follow each new sunrise. And be with us now, O oh God, as we offer to you the prayer taught to us by Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The scripture reading this morning is Luke 24, verses 1 through 12, the resurrection of Jesus. On the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed at this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you, while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to eleven and to the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. 
But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb. Stooping and looking in, he saw linen cloths by themselves. Then he went home and was amazed at what had happened. Here in his wisdom, thanks be to God. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all of our hearts always be aligned with your love, O God, for you are our rock and our redeemer. Amen. This past month, we have faithfully journeyed through Lent and Holy Week together as a beloved community. We have been confronted with the dark realities of life that occurred in the times of Jesus and sadly still occur in our own times today. The negative voices that would divide people back then are unfortunately still with us. And the voices that would reduce our world into our tribe versus their tribe are still alive and well. But in spite of this, there is good news this Easter Sunday. Our story today has the power to break down any barriers that exist between people. The resurrection story has the power to shine light on any darkness in the world. Having followed Jesus to the cross and believing all was lost, Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and other women find the tomb empty. They find the stone rolled away, and when they go inside, to their shock and dismay, the tomb is empty. Now you can imagine what was running through their minds that morning. Had the oppressors, those in power, taken Jesus' body away? Did those in power fear the charisma 
of Jesus even after he was dead? Or did the women think that grave robbers had come and taken him? We don't know, but they were certainly perplexed, as our story tells us. Now, as the women talk among themselves, two men in dazzling clothes suddenly appear and stand beside them. And of course, the women are all terrified, and they immediately look away. Now, for me, the next sentence is telling. It says it all. The men in dazzling white say, why do you look for the living among the dead? The two men are opening up the women's minds and hearts to the realization that even though Jesus has been put to death on the cross, he is not dead. And over 2,000 years of history have borne this out. No evil in this world could shut down the teachings of Jesus no evil in the world can ever shut down people who choose to promote peace and justice in our world. When the men tell the women that the mission of Jesus is alive and well, they remember how he had dared them to imagine a different world, a world where there were no servants and the least in the world are honored, a world where the myth of scarcity was proven false by a 5,000 plate lunch served up to the hungry and the weary crowds. Jesus dared the women to imagine a world where world leaders sit together solving the climate crisis and homelessness is unheard of. The empty tomb was a statement, a powerful statement to the people in power. It is a statement that says, you cannot keep people captive. You cannot keep people from whom they were created to be. The empty tomb is a powerful statement that says the bondage you put on other people, all the barriers you put up will never last. God has the power to remove any stone you put up that is a deterrent to those who want to build the kingdom come on earth. The empty tomb calls us to discover new purposes and new possibilities, not only as individuals, but as a church. The resurrection frees us to walk out of any circumstance that is holding us back. We are to imagine the world in a whole new way and then work towards making that vision come true. Resurrection calls us to affirm once and for all that Jesus is the light of our universe. Jesus is inclusion, service, and self-sacrifice. Jesus is unconditional love, and he is our interconnectedness with others and reminds us that we are truly part of the human family and all of creation. Those who put Jesus to death did not win. The Holy Week story helps us to see that the teachings of Jesus are as powerful today as they were when he walked the earth. And the Holy Week story reminds us that the teachings of Jesus are very powerful even though he was crucified. May we always delight in his teachings, his joy, his compassion, and his love. And may his teachings carry us and encourage us to be better humans who work at finding solutions for our world problems that are for the benefit of all of humanity. The resurrection of Jesus calls us to love more deeply and to forgive more completely and to always be of service to our neighbors. Holy Week teaches us that all good things are attainable. Amen.
pray. Gracious and holy God, your message of love, justice, freedom, and courage comes to us in words that have been passed down for over 2,000 years now. And yet every year we hear the beloved passion story as fresh and new. Help us, O oh God, to embrace the story through the lens of our historical tradition as well as through our contemporary experience. May this sacred story always guide, inspire, and challenge us to build your kingdom come on earth. Draw us near to you, O oh God, as we find ourselves in your story of faith and bless us with spirits that are ready to embrace the Easter story as our own story. May the wonder and awe of life made whole take hold deep in our souls. Today on this Easter Sunday, the day of resurrection, we pray that others will always see us as a blessing always practicing the love of Jesus that casts out hate. Our world certainly is facing many challenges at this time, and so we need people to rise to the challenge of building your kingdom come on earth. May we who say we follow the risen Jesus be a light to others so that his teachings are evident in our lives. And now, Holy One, we offer those people we carry in our hearts up to you in a moment of silence. May you, the beloved God of Jesus, be with each and every one of us as we leave our worship service today. Amen. Go forth in the footsteps of the women who first embraced the risen Christ. Use their knowledge of the risen Christ to bring hope to others. And may God's spirit surround and bless you this and every day. Amen. Amen.